Heinz and myself, I'm Dirk. We are both from Thermo Fisher Scientific. Heinz is an application manager for the Thermo Scientific DFS. I'm a product manager. Our plan was to visit Pacific Rim Laboratories here in Vancouver. This is one of our most prominent customer labs for the Thermo Scientific DFS magnetic sector. David Hope, who is the CEO of Pacific Rim Laboratories and has been a customer for a very long time, welcomed us in his office. Good to see you. Hi, Dave. Good to see you. Welcome you to Pacific Rim Labs. Come on in and I'll show you around. Okay. okay. Pacific Rim Labs was formed in 2003. We wanted to test dioxins, PCBs, in environmental samples and food samples. Our original thought was we'd focus on the Pacific Rim, and hence our name. But as time went on, our clients came out of Europe, they came out of South America, many different parts, not just the Pacific Rim. As a new business, we were growing and growing, but we needed more capacity. This is the first high-res mass spec we bought in 2007. Still fully functioning, a workhorse in our lab. The DFS is actually one of the best machines I've ever been around. As a dioxin PCB chemist, this actually allows me to set up the different chemistries to look for a dioxin and a PCB in one sample with different cleanups, with proper columns, to have an absolutely perfect analysis for both. Acquiring the DFS allowed us to move to the next level. Our samples grew 3,000, 5,000. We needed to add another instrument. Now this one looks just like the first, except this one is about four years newer. I could get twice as much analysis through on the same machine, no extra electricity, no extra gases. You've doubled the usefulness of a very useful machine. Now over here, you'll see our TSQ8000 Evos, one about four years old, the other one only about four weeks old. We did a major oil spill project last year, ran 775 samples, PAH samples. We ran an initial calibration, continuing cals every 12 hours for the next six weeks and never had a calibration failure. Just amazing ruggedness and throughput on there. And we had the sensitivity we needed. From a customer satisfaction point, you couldn't see a more satisfied customer. I started part-time working with the DFS about three years ago. We take the data from the DFS and we transfer it into our server and we process it using Targquan. And then we take the results put into a report for our clients and that's it. With the introduction of dual data, we can really just fly through all the different procedures we do here. So after Dave has shown us the GCMS lab, we had a look at the sample preparation. This is our extraction lab, and this is one of the workhorses in the extraction lab. This is our ACE 350. These are 100 mil stainless steel cells. We load them with our sample, some diatomaceous earth. This carousel takes everything into an oven. Our sample preparation is something that we've automated over the last two or three years. We usually run things in batches of 18, and the main reason for running an 18 is so that we can take them over to the instrument that's right next door, which is our rocket evaporator. We can take 50 mils to near dryness in 22 minutes, and we can do that for 18 samples at a time. That's the real beauty of the machine. Everything we do is geared towards cleanliness and reproducibility. And between the ACE and the rocket, we're getting those things in our lab, which allows us to service our customers in a much more efficient manner. Working at these really tiny volumes and being accurate and precise at the same time, it's an incredible feeling of satisfaction. That was a great visit here at Pacific Rim Laboratories in Vancouver, Canada, a highly productive dioxin lab. That's right, Heinz, and stay tuned for more.